Hello boys and girls. Today I thought that we would help our colour monster, our blue colour monster, um, feel a little bit happier. Um, I don't know if there's anything that you children like to do when you're feeling a little bit sad because sometimes it can be nice to do something that makes you feel happy. There might be something that you really enjoy doing that just makes you feel a little bit better about life. And our blue colour monster today, he feels a little bit sad. So he's going to help me do something that I like to do when I feel a little bit sad. And the thing that I like to do is to do a little bit of cooking or a little bit of baking. So I thought it might be fun if we make some really simple, easy currant buns today. OK, um, you'll need an adult helper to help you with it. But I'm just going to talk you through how we make some currant buns. OK. Right, so Sad Colour Monster is just going to sit over here and keep an eye on us. So, for my currant buns, I need some flour. You know what flour looks like, don't we? And I've already weighed it out just to make things a little bit easier. So I'm going to pop that in my bowl. The second thing I need is some butter. Okay, so that's going to go in my bowl along with the flour. And then, this is quite a fun bit. So what you do, you get your fingers, your nicely washed fingers. I should have said you should wash your hands at the beginning. We always wash our hands before we start cooking. And we mix. Look, you can go really high up. You can have lots of fun. Get as much air in it as you can. Okay, and what we're going to do is to make it look a little bit like breadcrumbs. So if you think about what crumbs look like when somebody slices up the bread, and that's what we're going to make our flour and our butter look like. So we carry on doing it. It might take a little while. If you need an adult helper, you just ask them to give you a hand with it. Okay, so we're nearly getting there. Just a little bit more. Okay, fantastic. Right, so that's all nice and crumbly now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add is some sugar. So I'm going to pop the sugar in there. Now, you could use a spoon. So just bear with me. Okay, nice wooden spoon. Or well, you, you could, as long as your fingers are clean, just use your fingers. So I'm going to stir that around my wooden spoon. And I'm going to add something we obviously need for currant buns. Some currants, okay? So these are raisins, you use sultanas, whatever you happen to have. You could even use dried apricots or dates or whatever you happen to have in your cupboard. So we're going to pop those in there. Then we're going to put in some apple. So I chop this up nice and finely. You obviously need some help from an adult helper with this, okay? So get them to help you with this a little bit. Then pop them in. Okay. So it's all lovely and mixed together. Right. Can you think what we might need next? Now, I whisked this up earlier, but this is egg. All right, let me show you. I don't know if you can see it there. Okay, so I'm going to tip the egg into the bowl, like so. Okay. You'll need to get an adult to help you with this bit because it, you need a knife to just bring it all together in a nice big dough. Okay. Now, if it doesn't all come together, you might want to add a little bit of milk to the recipe. Okay, but this looks like it's coming together really nicely. So this is the fun bit. This is where you've got to get your fingers in. A bit messy. But we like messy, don't we? So, get it all 
all together in a nice big dough. And then, look, it all sticks to your fingers. Feels really funny. Get a tray. Here we go. I put some butter on that and a little bit of greaseproof paper. And then this, all you need to do is just get a little bit of it together and just pop it on the tray like that. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit more and pop that on the tray too. You don't have to worry about it being in a really nice round circle or anything. It doesn't really matter. It's more of a kind of dollop effect. Okay, I like that word. So we keep on going until we've got quite a few on our tray. As I said, this is very messy, but I like messy. It's good fun, isn't it? Okay, so there we go. That's six lovely currant buns, okay? So I'm just going to rub this all off into the bowl so it doesn't make too much mess. Give my hands a little rinse and then we'll put some sugar on the top. Right, so just drying my hands off children and then I'm just going to get a little bit of brown sugar and just pop it in my hands like this. And I'm going to pop it on the top of my currant buns because every currant bun needs a little bit of sugar to go on the top of it. Okay. So there we go. So, our colour monster is feeling a little bit better now because he's had great fun helping us make these lovely currant buns. So what we're going to do, we're going to put them in the oven for a little bit and then we'll get them out and we'll see what they look like and Hopefully they'll be good enough to eat, won't they, Colour Monster? They can make us feel happy by eating something nice down in our tummy, okay? If anybody would like a copy of the recipe, then I can send it through um, to the preschool and you can ask Joe for a copy if you'd like one. But you may well have your own currant bun recipes at home as well, okay? So have fun making them and we'll find out what they look like and taste like in a little bit, okay? See you later!